beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is featuring a nice summery look. Since we're in our last few weeks of summer, September brings in fall, which will be a whole nother look, whole nother season. Well, today I tried the Melanie Mills um, Gleam Body Radiance in Disco Gold. I used it underneath the foundation give it a little extra shimmer a little extra glow i tried the maybelline fit me foundations again in cappuccino i'm sorry coconut and mocha 355 and 360 to kind of see if i like it or how i feel about it and it's still just okay i don't want to do too much talking so if you would like to see how i achieved this look Keep watching. I'm using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC as my eyeshadow base. Distributing it all over the lid. And now I'm buffing it in with the Big Buffer Brush by Real Technique. And now I'm setting with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I'm beginning with using the, the eyes or with the Morph 35B palette. And here I'm using a yellow color um, these shades don't have names to them so this yellow color is going in as my transition color and then I'm topping it with the orange kind of over the transition color blending it bringing it downward into the crease area carefully making sure it's blended really well and then of course we have to blend so I'm taking the brush and blending the yellow transition color in with the orange and now to deepen the crease I am using a um it this is an eggplant shade that's actually in the 35W morph palette again deepening the crease and then I actually want to deepen the crease a little bit more. So all I'm doing is just using more of that same shade. Anytime you want to deepen your colors, you use more of the same shade, working it into the crease area, all over into the crease, blending it into the orange. And now here I'm using Max Melon Pigment as my lid color. It's a very, very pigmented um, shiny color and I'm actually kind of creating a semi cut crease without actually cutting the crease with the melon pigment and now I'm going over it creating a wing um, I'm using NYX matte black liquid liner to create my wing and as my um, just to kind of line the top of the lid and this takes practice beauties it's not easy to do and you don't always get it but practice makes perfect just continue to practice until you get it extending that wing outward and now we're ready for lashes I'm actually using Ordell number 207 double up lashes popping those right on getting them as close to the lash line as possible and now it's time to clean up I have fallout from the melon pigment and I'm cleaning with an elf makeup makeup wipe um, it's actually a makeup remover wipe and of course Smashbox photo finish primer is what I'm working into my skin right now and now it's time to color correct before applying foundation and here I'm using max um, this is burnt coral and I'm using it for a little discoloration I have around the top of my lip around the nose and um, underneath the eyes to cover the bags that I have they're not really bad but I bad but I do have them and now I'm just working that into the skin with my beauty blender making sure um, and then I'm using my beauty blender is just a little damp and I'm going over the burnt coral with max NC 45 pro long wear concealer this all makes for a smooth finish once you apply the foundation 
work that in and now it's time for the um oh here i'm sorry here i'm using melanie mills um this is the body radiance the gleam and it's in disco gold and i'm applying it everywhere i will apply the highlight that's um on the well actually the cheekbone area i put it on the bridge of the nose and then I'm putting it in the, I will apply a little bit on the cupid's bow and on the chin. I think, did I put it on the chin? No. Okay. Again, on the cheekbone, the forehead. Yeah, I did put it on the chin. And now the chin area. And now we're ready for foundation. And here I've mixed two different um, numbers. These are both Maybelline Fit Me foundations. And because I'm a little tan from the sun, I used the 360. I, I poured a little bit of the 360 into the 355. The 355 is the coconut. And then um, the 360 I think it's the mocha. I said it at the beginning and it will be listed in the description box below. So just check it out. But now I'm working it into the skin. And this brush that I'm using is actually a Real Techniques brush. And I got it from Walmart. And it, work, it works really well. I have an Urban Decay brush that is similar to this brush. And they both. I love them both. That one was just half the cost. And now it's time to highlight. And I'm highlighting here with Max NC42 Pro Long Wear Concealer under the eyes, the cupid's bow, the chin, the bridge of the nose, and the forehead. And now it's time to work it in. And I'm using, still using a damp beauty blender. Make sure that this is blended and buffed really well into the skin without leaving any harsh lines, any lines of demarcation. If you happen to have those lines, you can easily blend them in and blend them away to where they, they will look seamlessly with the foundation. And you'll see I'm about to do it because as you can see on my forehead, when you wait a little too long, it's kind of hard to blend these products outward. So um, now I'm taking my brush with my foundation and I'm just kind of rubbing away, removing those harsh lines. And that's all you have to do. And now it's time to set the highlight in place. And I'm using Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to set the highlight before it starts to crease. And I don't typically like to bake, so I buff that right off the skin with a large fluffy brush. And this brush is um, the face brush, the powder brush by e.l.f. And now it's time to contour the nose. And I'm contouring with Max Blunt. Um, it's actually a um, blush. I'm sorry. I had a brain fart there. But um, it's a blush. But I love to use it to contour my nose. Because it doesn't give you a harsh contour. And now I'm contouring my face with my go-to Ebony Bronzer by CoverGirl Queen. And now it's time to carve those cheekbones out. And I'm using a Sasha Buttercup setting powder and immediately brushing it off. And this is Max um, Pinch Me Blush that I'm applying to the cheeks. And now going over it with Urban Decay's Illuminator for the highlight, the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow. Then I'll apply a little bit to the forehead and then the chin. And now I'm doing the under eye and I'm using the same shadows that I use minus the yellow. Underneath, I'm beginning with the orange, the color that I worked into the transition color and downward into the crease. 
And now I'm just kind of, I'm actually using a deeper orange color going over that orange just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And now I'm taking that same eggplant shade that I worked into the crease and placing it over the orange. And this is NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk that I'm putting into my waterline. And now for a little mascara on those bottom lashes. This mascara is just a mascara by e.l.f. Now it's time for the lips. I'm lining my lips using Max Night Moth Lip Liner. I, I, I always outline the lips first and then kind of shade in. And this is a liquid lipstick that's just from my local beauty supply. It's by Nick Kack, New York, and it's in Jazzberry Jam. And let's rub that in. And now it's time to set Nick's Matte Setting Spray. And voila, the finished product. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up and share this video and also leave me a comment. See you in my next video. Bye and remember, stay popping.